Now, I heard him talk something and I really felt this guy doesn't have empathy. Mm. And what did he say? Ati yata watoto walikuwa hapo. Lakini nili mnyorosha. Nili kasirika, nili toa belt, nikaanza kuminyorosha vizuri sasa. Akubali. Nili mnyorosha sasa vizuri. Na watoto wa melala hapa. So, watoto wa my brother wako kwa nyumbangu, watoto wa wa melala hapa ya. Kasema, odho hata kama ikitu itaingia kwa watoto kwa akili, but ni asira lakini ndajua naenda convince watoto. Mm. You know and I'm thinking to myself seriously you know those kids you know those kids are going to be the wife beaters of tomorrow because we normalize for them that this is the way we deal with conflict. Yes. George alisema kuwa ulikuwa na mnyima mapenzi miezi mingi sana. Mila alikuwa anaongea tu obvious akosangi kujitete. Watu kimpea leo kesho kesho kosa kumpea obvious atalalamika tu. Na watu kimwelezea uko na shida fulani hakuwa anaelewa. Sasa so, naona ni kama na mnyima. Hello and a warm welcome to Tuko Talks. My name is Lynn Gugi. Now, a few weeks ago, I brought you the story of George, the man who was publicly begging his wife Helen to come back and take care of his two children. Uh, Helen Mali Alipo, Rudy Tule Watoto. Hata kama kuna ishu zingine, na joo unipendi kutoka kitambu. Hani ujai kwa na interested na kunipendi lelai. And you guys, you told me, Lynn, we need you to trace Helen so we can get to hear her side of the story. And I did. I traced her. I can't disclose the location. But she agreed to sit down with me and tell me her side of the story and why she still will not come back home to take care of her kids and now i also brought you an amazing guest who will help us you know with this topic because i realized this conversation is broad these are things that are happening to a lot of families where you want someone and this person does not want you back but before we get to introduce our guest please let's listen to helen's part of the story so helen sasa sasa ibu ambia wa kenya mbona uliacha watoto niliacha watoto wangu kulingana mwanaume alikuwa anajaribu alinitishia kifo alinitishia kifo mara tatu so mimi nikaona kujilinda afadhali nitoke niende nitafute kazi na pia watoto wangu mali penye wako wajue tu mimi nawapenda na niko nitawarudia tu after some time nitakaa na kama mama George alisema wendi ulikuwa unacheza alikupea kila kitu lakini we haukutosheka ungetaka kusema nini before mimi nifikie mahali pa kucheza yeye pia alikuwa ashaanza hiyo mchezo so nikamuuliza na hakutaka kuniambia ukweli badala yake niambie ukweli hata tuombe msamae ishe akaacha mwanamke mwenye alikuwa amezaa naye mtoto ndiye ananiambia story yote kwa hivyo George ako na mtoto mwingine nje ako na mtoto mwingine nje kwanza si mmoja ni wawili ulijua aje mtoto wako wa kwanza mwenye mama yake ni mwenyewe ndiye alinipigia simu asubuhi kabla bado na lala huyu wa pili nilisikilia nyumbani kwa watu na pia nikakuja kumuuliza na akasema ni ukweli uko na mtoto mwingine nje kijana George alisema kuwa ulikuwa na mnyima mapenzi miezi mingi sana Mila alikuwa anaongea tu obvious akosangi kujitetea tu watu kimpea leo kesho kesho kosa kumpea obvious atalalamika tu na watu kimwelezea uko na shida fulani hakuwa anaelewa. Sasa so, naona ni kama na mnyima. Mm-hmm. Asha kuchapa. Alijai ni chapa but mara ya kwanza kunichapa nilichapa tarehe 26 Desemba. Nini ilifanyika? Nili ali kuna maneno alikuwa ameambiwa nyumbani so mimi akakuja kunza nikaa nimemwelezea ukweli amemaliza. Akachukua simu yangu akaanza kuichakora ndani akapata some messages. Ndi akaanza kunichapa usiku kuna mcheza na huyo kijana wa nyumbani huyo kijana tu tulikuwa tu marafiki tulikuwa tunacheza tu tunaongea tu na story tu story tu za kawaida but hata si kwa hilala na huyo kijana but sasa ilifika mahali akanilazimisha kuwa ati mimi nimelala na yeye kwa sababu nilala na yeye si kulala na yeye so wakati alikuja alichukua simu yangu akapata kuna some messages tulikuwa tumechat na huyo kijana and akaanza akaanza tu sirani zake 26 asubuhi kwanza 
aka aka nikaanza nika kuniuliza nisaidie simu yako nikampa simu akaniambia nisaidie ID yako nikamwambia sasa ID yangu nitaka kufanyia nini sio uko na ID yangu mbona sasa kila kumeshinda kunisha kwa ID yangu kila siku na nashinda na kupea ID namba mbona hujai sebo hata kwa simu yako nataka nikupea ID yangu nitaka kufanyia nini ID yangu akaniambia nataka kutoa mini statement nataka kujua vile amekuwa kituma pesa na vile zimekuwa zikitumika So mimi nikamwambia ID yangu sikupi na akachukua simu akatoka nayo nje akaenda kaa nayo nje. Mm. Akaicha kwa kurudi kwa nyumba akaniita mimi nikakuja. Akaniambia huyu namba huyu mtu mmeongana na yeye nini? Amekunia ndio alikupigia ama ama mimi ndio nilimpigia. Kamwambia mimi ndio yeye ndio alinipigia simu kwanza. Alikuwa anaeleza ni kani yani mimi nikamjibu alikuwa anasalamiana tu. Ande akakasirika kutokea asubuhi akaniambia nimesema unipea ID yako. Mimi nikaona baada ya kumpea idea kadhani nitotoka kwa nyumba nikimilia mahali. Sa akaingia sitting room ni kwa bed. Mimi nikatoka na mlango ya nyuma na nikakimbia nikatoka nje nikaenda hadi kwa jirani. Akaniita mimi si kurudi. Sasa kukosa kurudi akatoka mbia ananifuata. Ananifuata hadi nilianguka kwa shamba fulani ya jirani. Akanipata pale akaanza kunipiga piga mangumi kwa kichwa na huku kwa mbavu. Na ndio majirani wakakuja wakaanza kumvuruta ndio mimi nikasimama hapa nikataka nikaenda kujificha mahali. So kurudi kwa nyumba akawa anasema tu mwanamke simtaki hapa. Kama 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 ni kila kitu wanampea. Wa mama, waka, mama kuna mama alikuwa kwa kanisa. Akamwambia George hata hii asira yako haitakusaidia. Jaribu kutulia asira yako juu msichana ndio amekosa na ameomba msamaha. Mbona mbona situliza asira yako? Akawa amekubali send juu mimi nilikuwa nishamba msamaha akasema Um, ni akasema akaanza akatoa tu masharti zake hapo akasema huyu mwanamke sitaki atoke hapa kila kitu itakuwa namupata kwa nyumba hata kama hata kama ni kwenda salon mtakuwa naita mtu, mtu wa salon anakuja kumsongea kwa sababu nikaa nimekubali hata mama alikuwa hapo akasema tu ni sawa so ati atakuwa na kuitia mtu wa salon mtu wa salon kwa nyumba ati nisiwahi toka kwa boma naenda mahali mimi mm. nikasema tu hata kama ni hivyo ni sawa akatoka hiyo akat, sawa walitoka na masisters zake wakaenda kwa nchishosho yao Kurudi jioni mimi si kumwongelesha. Nikakuja tu kwa nyumba nikashughulika tukalala. Sasa hiyo usiku siku na feel vizuri. Jo alikuwa ashanipiga mchana huku kwa shingo na kwa mbavu huku na umia. Nikawa tu nimeona nimekaa kwa kiti nimetulia akaniita bedroom na simu yangu tu bado. Akaanza kuchokora simu akaingia mini statement akapata hizo akapata akaingia kwa mini statement akapata pesa vile nimekuwa nikitumia na vile nimekuwa nikitumia pesa kwa hiyo kijana. So akaanza hii pesa ilikuwa inatumia mtu ilikuwa ya kazi gani? Mimi mm. kamaanza kuna time nilikuwa nataka kitu mahali fulani nikamtumia pesa aenda nilitema hiyo pesa nilimpa nili, nili pesa kwanza nilianza kupiga hesabu hizo nilikuwa nataka ndio nikamtumia pesa na kaniletea hizo vitu. Mm. Akaanza tu hapo. Sawa so, akuridhika. Mm. Tena baada ya kuingia tu kwa messages akapata sijui messages yangu sijui nilikuwa nimechat nini. Mimi hata nilisahau. Mm anje nikamwambia ni okay basi nimekubali nilifanya nisame akanisukuma kwa kitanda nikakaa na akaanza kunitandika mm. kanipiga piga mangumi kwa kichwa na kuninyoka kwa shingo mm. sasa kwa nyumba nilikuwa na watoto wa shemeji yangu ndio akatoka kwa nyumba mbio akaenda kuita shemeji yangu mkubwa ndio akakuja kwa nyumba usiku saa tano kuniokoa mm. na ha? kuna watu wanauliza una, wewe kama mama uko na watoto unaweza enda aje uache watoto wako wajui penye uko watu wanadhani umekufa watu wanauliza hilo swali watoto wangu mimi bado nawapenda na penye niko najua niko safe lakini acha nitafute kazi nitarudi kuwachukua watoto wangu nikae nao bado unawapenda ndio unawa miss sana mmejaribu mm. kuwapigia simu sina namba ya mwenyako nao mm. ukisikia wako wapi Niliwaacha tu kwao. Azin kwa ndugu yangu mkubwa anakaa kwa Kamega. So ndio bibi yake ndio mwenyako nao. But sijawahi ongea naye tangu nitoke nyumbani. Hauna namba yake sina. Jo hata simu yenye nilikuwa nayo na namba yake ni George alikuwa amenua hiyo simu niliacha kwa nyumba hadi na line nyingine. So nikakuja tu nikanua line nyingine mpya na namba siku nazo. Kwa hivyo utaki George kabisa. George hapana. Anitishia kifo siwezi rudi kwake tena wendi huko ushago unaongea na familia yako familia yangu mimi kwanza kitu ya kwanza mimi sina wazazi so hata nikirudi nyumbani siwani kama nitasaidika popote huyo mwenye ni kama baba yako sai 
Uya kwa na watoto wake na pia kwa na mizigo zake na pia nikienda kumalizia shida zangu all asha amini George. Sasa hata mimi nikienda kumalizia ni kwa shida fulani kwa shida fulani haizi nisaidie. Ataniambia watu wakatoa parudi kwa nyumba yako. Basi wezi rudi kwa tena. Sasa una tafuta kazi. Tafuta kazi niende at least nipate pesa kidogo nikuje nianze maisha na watoto wangu. Maneno yako ya mwisho kwa George na watoto ungetaka kusema aje. George yeye ndiye tuna maisha yake asijali nasikia na wasiwasi na mimi mimi niko tu sawa na pia panya watoto wangu wako unajua tunawapenda na bado niko hai sijakufa na watafutia maisha ya kesho I, I wish you all the best mimi nakutakia vyema na venye tu nilisema ukitaka kuongea na mimi niko wapi niko hapa ni sawa so all the best wewe na kutafuta kazi ni vizuri wa Kenya wamejua uko salama maana wengi wanahofia ni kukufa ulikuwa umeku, umekufa ni sawa ongea na watoto wako Hello ble Sasa Niaje mama Uko poa Sawa ndakuja kesho Fidel ako wapi Fidel Mamba baba Mama anakuja Niwaletee nini Sawa nitawaletea Sawa so, bye. So, Helen. All right, so that's Helen for you. Now allow me to let our guest today introduce herself. Yes. Mami, yes. habari yako? Niko salama kabisa. Yeah. Yes. If you introduce yourself. Yes, yes, uh, definitely. Hello yeah. viewers. My name is Grace Karioki Nderito and I'm a marriage and family therapist. Yeah and a mental health therapist. Yeah. So that is my life work. I love doing that. Yeah. And, and so I work with couples, with families, mm -hmm. with individuals yeah. who are struggling with issues of relationships. Yeah. Yes. And you know, Grace, mm -hmm. the main reason why I thought it was to bring you on this show, mm -hmm. it's because I realized mm -hmm. we also have to offer solutions to right. our audience. Yes. And after covering George's story mm -hmm. and then uh, getting to listen to Helen, yes. there were a lot of things that I thought, let's discuss. Right. According to you, mm. what was the first thing that this couple did wrong? Yes, absolutely. One of the things that I noticed with the couple is uh, how they didn't have Malaysi Bora. You know, they grew up and they, they were not connected with their birth parents. They were not connected with, uh, with uh, people who gave them that undivided care. Yes. There is a very special connection between a child and the birth mother mm -hmm. and the birth father. Yes. And, and so when children lose that, then they emotionally they do not develop the normal way. Mm -hmm. And so there is a gap that is there which I could see with both of them. Yeah. Because you normally will see that in the way they deal with issues of rejection, mm -hmm. issues of fear, fear of abandonment, yes. plus the, 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 when they are dealing with with conflict mm -hmm. then they are, they are not able to do it from an adult space yes. you can see the, the the temper tantrums you can see them going into a child's state and and so when that happens then you are not going to be able to do well mm -hmm. in the in, in the relationship yeah so i i want to really really encourage people especially young people who are watching us there is there is a lot of value for you to wait before you get married that you understand the 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 you understand yourself first of all get to know yourself mm -hmm. now you are not going to have a, an adult identity yeah. until you are 25 yes between between 15 and and, uh, and 25 mm -hmm. you are separating yourself from being a child into being an adult mm -hmm. getting married is an adult decision yeah when we get married before we have we have really understood mm. what it means to be married mm. and the things that you need to the, the, the actually the skills that you need to have yeah. then you will get into a marriage and you will be acting like children yes. which is what I saw so these are grown-ups yes. who are still acting like right. children right let's let's talk about George yes. because when we watched Georgia well mm -hmm. I sat down with Georgia yes. you would think he was a saint yes he came out as the victim, yes. like um, she left me, yes. she did not satisfy me sexually, yes. I gave her everything. Yes. So w what makes someone wants to stay with you? Is it sex and your ability to give them everything mm. they need? No, absolutely not. 
that's not the only thing. What people do not understand, the reason why we seek relationships yeah. is for emotional needs. It is not, because you, you as a woman, you as a man, you can get all these things yes. by yourself. But there is something that God created you with, yeah. which is emotional connection. Yeah. Every one of us, we have a need, an emotional need to know another person and be known by that other person in a deeper way. It's yeah. what we call love. You see, yes. that deep connection. Yeah. Even as women, when we stay and you are 26, 27, 28, and you are not finding a husband, what do people tell you? Have mm. a kid. Why? Because that is what we are looking for, deep connections. We are looking for people to accept us unconditionally. Yes. People to tell us that no matter what, you are mine, I love you, and I will protect it's you. you. You yeah, see, yeah. now when I look at George, I, I, I saw that George is a man who has good intentions, mm -hmm. but he has a fear of being abandoned. And now he comes here and he finds a wife. He picks her up. I, I, I saw like he said he picked her up from yes. somewhere. They met somewhere yeah. and he brought her. And she's an orphan too. And she's an orphan too. Mm. So this girl is also looking for deep connection. He is also looking for deep connection because he, I heard him say that he was not raised by his parents. Yes. They moved from relative to relative. Yeah. So step the, mom to step mom. Yes. Yeah. So let me, let me just give people this understanding. There are four fundamental needs that you look for in relationships. Because when God created man, he said it is not good for man to be alone. alone. Because God gave Adam everything he wanted in the mm -hmm. garden. Mm -hmm. Even now men love power and control. You see, naturally men love power and control. Yeah. That's what Adam was given. Yes. Be in control of the world. Take dominion of everything. Yay. But the guy was still lonely. Yeah. And God said, no, let's make him a person who is going to connect with him. Yes. Who is fit for him. Mm. And the young lady who was made, he, she was made from his rib. Yes. Meaning that this is bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh, and we connect. Yeah. And when she comes to me, she's not over here, she's not under here, mm -hmm. she is right here next yes. to me. She's yeah. my companion, yeah. you see. Yeah. And I'm supposed as a man, mm. God has given me dominion and he has given me the, 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 the role of being a leader, yeah. but also a protector. Okay. That's why she's on my side, yeah. so that I can protect her. Yeah. The biblical scriptures, they tell us, and even traditionally, when you look at all cultures, that women are the weaker sex. Mm -hmm. They are supposed to be protected yes. by the men who are in the society. Yeah. Now, when George now finds a woman that he feels he wants to live with, and he says, I love this woman, and he decides to keep her, he, her as his wife, in his mind, she will never do him wrong. You see, he has control. He, she will never do him wrong. So men like George, what they do, they will not want the woman to have a separate life, a separate mind. The moment you begin to go against what they want, and it may not be big things. I want my food at the time I want. I want my things to be kept the way they want. I want I to dress you, up like this. Yes, yes. I give you money so yes. that you never have to go work. All those things. If we are not careful, that is a sign of insecurity because this woman is a unique uh, a, a unique person that even god said when he created them yeah. male and, and female. female and each one of them yeah. was created in the image of yes. god yeah so now when we do not understand that basic needs that we have <laughs> as in, emotionally yeah. we think that if i give you a big house a big car money and i give you all this stuff that you're stay. going to be okay. Yeah. But there is something deeper. I have worked with young men who uh, in their marriages, by the time their marriage is about five years, they are really struggling. Why? Because when they met their wives, their wives were docile, 
it's, it's as if this woman will never grow yes. to be independent yeah. or want to do anything. Yeah. That's why some men have to be careful that you're not picking a lady who you feel yeah. that will, will just fit within your mold. Yes. And I think that's the problem George has. Yeah, the comment section, there were a lot of mixed reactions. Yes. Yes. The main one was George is a narcissist. Yes. I saw a lot of people say George is a narcissist yes. and I want to bring you back on the show yes. later yeah. to give us the traits and characters or the characters of a narcissist. Right. But in general, do you think George is a narcissist? Now I'm going to say this. Let yeah. me explain to people that narcissists are not born. Narcissists are made by circumstances, by experience yeah. between the ages of zero and 15. That is when you are, you are setting, in fact, up to 10 years. That's when you are setting the template for what it means to be a human being yes. and to be a member of a community. Uh -huh. So if I'm rejected for things, uh, I don't have a feeling of being loved and accepted. Uh -huh. Number two, I don't have a feeling that I can be competent and I can do whatever I put my mind to. Yes. Number three, I don't feel safe because everybody who has been an adult in my life, they have abused me. Mm -hmm. They have made me feel this small. Yes. And then number four, I have not been given the opportunity to feel I'm in control. I can make choices. Mm -hmm. I can make mistakes and yeah. that's okay. Yeah. You see, when yeah. you don't have that foundation, of being told it's okay to make mistakes, we will try not to make them again. Mm. And this is how you do it. Yeah. When we are told, whatever you put your mind to, you are an intelligent person. And even if you are not good in math, hey, look, English is good. So let's focus on your strengths. Yes. Our parents focus on what we are not able to do. Mm -hmm. So we develop this feeling of, I'm not good enough, I'm I am not, not acceptable, it. I'm not worthy, and I cannot be able to yeah. do things. So what do we do? We are constantly seeking validation from our performances our our the way that we relate with yes. people so you get into a marriage and you have fallen in love yeah. with the person yeah. they should accept you the way you are yeah. and you what do we do Lynn, uh, Lynn, when we meet with I tell you my gory story yes. I tell you all my stories mm. and at that point you love me you embrace me until we start living together yeah. about six months into the relationship reality begins to heal to fit, yes. to hit. And once that happens, I begin to be dissolution, disappointment, and now we are fighting. Yeah. If we never transition yes. into, yeah, this is the person who holds my back and all that, mm. and but they are not perfect. Mm. They are also flawed, mm. and I am flawed as well. Until we get that, to that point, what women struggle with depression because they feel they are not being listened to, yes. and women need conversation mm. in a relationship. Mm. And they need to be understood and validated how they feel. Yeah. And then the man feels that they are not being validated about their ability to take care of the family. Mm -hmm. When when uh, when we grow up with uh, with um, a lot of gaps in our emotional emotional growth mm. and our so social connections, that's when you find somebody like George will say, "My wife doesn't give me sex, so I go." Siezi ingia kwa nyumba mimi mwanaume nimefanya everything we uko mefura. Siezi ingia kwa nyumba wewe mwanamke nimekufanya everything ikifika time yetu mimi na wewe you don't want. Mm. Siezi fika kwa nyumba wewe hupendi story. Wewe up, yani uko. Na uko nje kuna Kenya kana kupigisha story mpaka yeah. unalia uki ukienda kwingine ukienda kwingine mtu anakaribisha like <laughs> <laughs> mtu venye nafaa karibishwe. Alikuwa yeah? anakukaribisha vizuri. Yes, mtu kama na ni msichana ule ule si msichana wa kusema ati ataanya. Hata nimeelezea ni story yangu yes mm. kidogo lakini akaelewa. Lin wewe ukuje mzee wako kae na ye. Six months hamuonani. Wote mko kwa nyumba lakini hamuonani. Akupei mapenzi. Eh. Mm. Wewe umpeti si yeye. Wewe mimi wewe mimi kama mwanamke eh. sikupati. Eh. Then, when expect you, mewaka atafanya ni? Ataenda inji. So, aizu vumilia? Mm. Because sex becomes sex, money, and, uh, and fame. They be it becomes the way I feel good about myself. This is stress management. And being accepted by women makes me feel I'm a man. You see? So when I go out there and I cut a lady and she smiles at me and she makes me she makes me feel like I'm a great man. Guess what? I go home and pata mwanamke amenifuria. I begin to do what to find my worth. 
in these things that that women are giving yes, me. Yes. It's feeding my ego, it's feeding my sense mm -hmm. of worth. Mm -hmm. You see, but yeah. you see, I'm committed to this woman in my house. Mm. So so what I am saying here is that um, in in this case of George and and um, Helen and Helen, there was quite a bit of low level of maturity emotionally and even understanding how to be in a marriage. Yeah. There, there wasn't much. If, if Helen is giving him silent treatment, she is withholding sex. And, and from her story, yeah. she said that she wasn't withholding. Yeah. George alisema kuwa, uliku na mnima mapenzi miezi mingi sana. Mila alikuwa naongea tu, obvious, kwa sangi kujitete. Tu watu kimpea leo kiosu kesho kwa sangi kumpea, obvious atala la mika tu. Na watu kimwalezeu kwa na shida fulani, haku anaelewa. Sana so, watu ni kama na mnima. She said she would even yes. give him yeah. every time. He yes. wouldn't even care whether mm. she was not feeling it or not. Yes. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And women, we do that um, because because we want to please our men. In the book of Genesis, it says after the, the fall yeah. that God said to the woman, your punishment is childbirth and that you will always be yearning for your yes. husband. That's why we women, we get to a point what wananza kukuambia, oh, we just want you to be happy. And they think because you are single, you are not happy. Mm. Because you don't have a relationship, you are not happy. Yeah. It's part of that um, th that uh, emotional need that we have. When we connect with a man as a woman, yeah. you feel valuable. Yeah. And and uh, and so we have to learn how to balance that mm. out. Mm. Because it doesn't mean if you're not connected to a man, you are not valuable. Yeah. You know, it's just the feeling that we feel. Mm -hmm. Now, the, back to the question you asked me, yes. is he a narcissist? Yes. I, I want to say he has narcissistic traits and they are this. There is, uh, there is control and there is power. He needs that. And he, he doesn't see that the way he demands it from his wife, he's not having empathy for her. Kwa mwanamuka ngerudi, alewa toto, ni mshugulikia kila kitu wanyo naitajika, but nijue akona watoto. Maisha yandele. Ikifika maali, I want it like she don't need me. Then toka na hichi ni mwambie, hey my wife. Mali tumefikia it like he ndo bado inaendelea suko suko. Hakuna amani. Ne unaweza niruhusu nitafute mko wa pili. Wewe ukae nyumbani, mimi nikae Nairobi na yeye. Then nitafute pesa, ninue shamba nje. Ya atakao kwa hii shamba huko nje, wewe ukae huko. Lakini Watoto tukizaa nao lazima wakua united. Yeah. They are my children. Mm. So, nataku ni payo rusa sababu kuna vitu zingine hautekelezi kama manamuke. And what is empathy? That I am willing to walk in your shoes. So, if I am married to you and, uh, and, and I'm telling you, babe, I'm tired. Babe, I'm hurting because sometimes these men, they want sex all yes. the time. Yeah. They don't realize that women get bruised down there and it's very painful so if your wife is saying hey look i i really can't do it yes. because it's painful and you are not listening to that and you're not paying attention and then you say if you don't give it to me then i'm going to find it elsewhere yeah. and you actually go get it and yes. then you come home and you blame me for yeah. it then there is something really not right with you yeah. because you are not empathetic and you are not compassionate. Okay. Very key ingredients of a successful, successful relationship. relationship. Yeah. Let's talk about George being physically abusive mm. to the wife. Mm. He admitted he bet her yeah. up a couple of times. Right. And Helen is very scared yes. because she thinks this man will kill yes. will kill I uh, will kill her. Yes. But it's the comments where there were people who said ni lazima ange gongo wa kidogo apate ya dabu. <laughs> Now, <laughs> so mwanamke ni lazima agongwe kidogo ndi apate ya dabu. Well, let's look at it this way. Yes. <laughs> now, the, the reason, one of the reasons why I became a marriage counselor uh, is because me from the very, from when I was a young girl, understanding relationships, you know, just seeing life. I used, we used to have a neighbor who used to, to fight with his wife every day. Mm. So every day there was a fight. And so I used to wonder, how can two, because me, I was used to my parents beating me. Yes. But two adults beating each, beating each other, I'm thinking to myself, now it's like a parent and a child. Yeah. So this is what I'm going to say, that a physical abuse 
is really the worst it's not the worst worst but it is the worst form of uh, human degradation you see when when you beat my body you are just telling me that mimi ata because you see when we fight as adults mm-hmm. it's not the same as disciplining a child sasa nilimsikiza nikasikia ati nilimnyorosha kabisa and he seems to be very happy with and that and proud and proud of it the thing is that this is a human being who is your partner in life you know the reason why we don't we are not like animals is because god gave us a brain god gave us words so that we can be able to communicate and deal with problems in a not in an animalistic way yeah. but in a way that is intelligent yes. you see you no wonder we we you know when you look at uh, at the, the biblical scriptures and others other writings about human rights mm. you will see where it talks about the punishment when you take advantage of somebody who is vulnerable yeah and uh, and the thing that uh, that I will say here and I say this a lot to couples who are dealing with domestic violence especially physical violence mm-hmm. I always tell them when somebody causes your physical integrity to be compromised it's very difficult for you to trust them That's and men awesome. need to understand that the reason why a woman will walk away and never come back to you is because she does not feel safe mm. with you mm. a woman needs safety emotionally physically and financially mm. that's something they need mm-hmm. and then for the women i want to say this a man needs sexual fulfillment a man needs uh, validation and affirmation and a man needs a safe home and when i say a safe home i'm talking about when he comes home he feels this is he's the king of his own castle yes you see yeah. so when if we do not understand the needs of uh, men and women within a relationship we will keep breaking down our relationships with our bare hands and then we come back to radio and yes. say i want my wife back i love her i have given her anything whatever she wants no what a woman needs in a relationship let me tell you lin it is safety and physical safety is very important Now when we talk about now emotional safety we go into now psychological yeah. and we are we are talking about emotional and verbal yes. that you are not I hear this there 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 are times when I have refused to see couples in counseling because by the third session you are still calling each other at wewe ni malaya wewe ni mwanaume wana I told them I cannot help you because you guys are doing the, you nyinyi wenyewe muna tunatengeneza alafu munaenda muna toanisha there is something we have to train couples yeah. to do yeah. and this is what Jesus said do unto others what you would like as them you to would do have them do unto, unto you. you that is basic yes. human respect mm-hmm. when a man touches a woman because a man when he's angry mm-hmm. ngumi yake it will it will it will set you i mean into something else his his slap is bigger my father my father uh his soul rest in peace mm. he was a big man as you can see i'm a tall lady yeah. my mother is short and so my father was tall when he would when he would discipline us as children because my father never you know hit my mother but they argued a lot yes. but it never got there yeah. but when my father needed to discipline us he never did it right there and then There is one time I saw him hit my sister just you know how you are t- overtaken by anger and he just slapped her that girl went kuharagana huko because his strength you can imagine he's a big man and then anger gives you energy and George needs to understand Uri, uri, you know you had an, he had a lot of energy and when he was beating that woman the pain that that woman felt and then number two, the fear the terror that this person is going to kill me yes. and i'm going to say this according to the laws of kenya and laws everywhere else in the governments of the world assault is a crime in fact in some places if you if you have a, if you are an assaulting person and it goes on your record they call it a felony you are, you, you will probably never get a job yes. because you are not a safe person in the community 
And we need to understand that. Now, I heard him talk something and I really felt this guy doesn't have empathy. Mm. And what did he say? Atiata watoto walikuwa hapo. Lakini nili mnyorosha. Nili kasirika, nili toa belt, nikaanza kumnyorosha vizuri sasa. Akubali. Nili mnyorosha sasa vizuri. Na watoto wamelala hapa. So, watoto my brother wako kwa nyumbangu, watoto tuletu wamelala hapa ya kasema odho hata kama hiki tu itaingia kwa watoto kwa akili but ni asira lakini ndajua naenda convince watoto mm-hmm. you know and i'm thinking to myself seriously you know those kids you know those kids are going to be the wife beaters of tomorrow because we normalize for them that this is the way we deal with conflict yes you see so it is important and i i want to talk to the women if you are in a physically Uh, abusive relationship you need to report don't tell me the police will do nothing there is a, there are two things about reporting mm. number one your abuser knows that you know you are right yes. and it's important most abusers they do not think and expect that you are going to protect yourself yeah. they think that you are going to utanyamazia yeah. too you will be victim for for life yes. so it's very important for us to understand that so number one, there is the need for you to create that's a boundary mm. that's a boundary behaviors do not change unless there is a cons- consequence yes. now i want to say to george um, and to other men who might be saying grace unatuonea i want to also say that helen Uh, also she alifanya vibaya yes. when she went and now the integrity of their marriage bed was was destroyed kwa sababu George alitoka nje na huyu akatoka nje wote walitoka walitoka nje yes. so i'm not i'm not going to say that uh, that now natetea Helen. Helen the thing i'm saying is that both of them really um, uh, they really put each other in a bad spot Umen yumiza, they did the most hurtful thing you can do in a marriage. And that is why Jesus, when he was asked, Aliulizo, should a man divorce in, uh, his wife for any reason? He said, except for marital unfaithfulness. Wow. The man, if he divorces his wife, he is not allowed to get married yeah. again. You yes. see? Because God understands the integrity of a marriage is, is going to be broken when the marital bed is de- is defiled yes. i have had people men who bring women to their marital bed when the wife is away tafadhali go get help there is something emotionally not right with you mm. because that's the worst thing you can do yeah. and would how would you feel if your wife brought a man into your marital bed you see yes. so people who do these things and then later on they come back and they think oh my goodness what did i do they need to go and say hey counselor just help me yes. i figure out what is this is mm. i will tell you what it is it is usually the fact that you never grew up from the raw if i want unaona anga vile mtoto akitaka kuki anajirusha kwa supermarket analia nobody can have peace yes. that is what we do as adults when you have these natural desires you are like a dog you just see a, you are in heat and you see another and you just run after mm. it no god did not create us like that we were created with the ability to say that if i do this this is what is going to be the outcome and so and so will be hurt and so and so will be hurt mm. i tell i tell women who come and say i can't believe what my husband did to me i say the problem is that he was not doing it to you He was not even thinking about you because if he had thought about you he would not have done it. Yes. The same thing with parents who have uh, teenagers who get pregnant. Mm. If that child were, had thought who mami atafikiria nini they would have not done what they yeah. did. It's because when we are in our human uh, raw emotions where we need something. Yes. You know what the Bible calls the the desires of yeah. the flesh. Yeah. Your brain is flooded with this need to meet this physical need yeah. that you are not thinking about the consequences yeah. at that point mm-hmm. you are already past what we call the point of return the point of return yeah i want to talk about the parent yes. here the guardian yes. helen's guardian yeah. because she mentioned that george took some cash yes. and some cows yes. to her place mm. and so every time she goes and confides to the guardian yes. he does not listen to her yeah. simply because george took something yes. to their 
is this this is a big issue yeah, oh yes absolutely because again when you think about the dowry process why is dowry done a lot of times when we think even when we say tunaenda kuuza msichana you see what are you doing you are actually saying in exchange for our girl you take you give us money and you give this to us yes. i remember my father saying we are four girls in my family mm -hmm. and i remember a conversation i had with him long time ago and it was my sister who who had been in a in a relationship yeah. and and they wanted to come mm -hmm. and bring mahari and my father said him he doesn't want just in case they the wakikosana ntawarudishi yeah. aje yeah. and we know that that if you are if you are a woman who has been paid dowry for there is that mental conditioning that now you are mine where when you are uko look at lean look at the way we do the 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 kikuyus when you go Kurashia. for the wedding yeah. no not even the kurashia yeah. the wedding the gifts what does your parents give you give you <laughs> on that day mm -hmm. a, bed a bed and a mattress yes. and they tell you what if you do, don't your bed has already been given yes. so you cannot come back yes. because there won't be a space for Absolutely. you to sleep sometimes we do not think about the 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 conditioning yes. that we get from our traditions and it's time for us to be thinking about that because now the world is changing and now when people have issues of of uh, fear of of abandonment and fear of being left then what is going to happen that conditioning takes president yeah. to the integrity mm. of this person that mm. i have been given mm. so i see them as my property nilikulipia yeah. mahari you are supposed to do and you are supposed to be yes. so they don't allow them to express who they are so it becomes almost like pingu za maisha for real you know so so the thing is that um uh, the obviously the the guardian of helen feels obligated to send her back because he received the payment for her dowry and uh, and i would imagine if if uh, this was her real parent maybe they wouldn't because there is you remember yes. what i talked about the yeah. connection yeah. for most parents not all of them but mm. for most parents mm. they will tell they will actually act and say ah uh ah -uh, you're not going to treat our daughter like that mm -hmm. even if our uh, father is kurudishia because there is that connection that this person feels that no 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 the pain of my child yeah. i feel it in my stomach yeah. there is also something else that i would like to say here mm -hmm. when you are an orphan and uh, and this is not the person who is taking care of you there are times uh, depending on their circumstances and this is human so we are not going to judge them yes. because uh, sometimes you feel like when this child finally gets a home you feel relief yeah. you see because you feel like you have raised them and now you hand them mm. over to their own life to create their future mm. you see so for them to come back i have failed you see so you can imagine for a guardian that feeling of of failure is much more deeper mm. than the parent because the parent you are always connected with your children mm -hmm. even if they come home come mm. and uh, and I will listen and I will feel your emotions, your emotions. at least uh, for for people who don't have other issues where yeah. you reject your own children mm. uh, for people for most people you will feel the pain of that child so i'm not surprised that uh, that her guardian would say would you know there is, not, George, huh? there is nothing i can do and ukuwe mwanamke mzuri yeah, yeah. Mm. before we go to the kids yes. because now we have two innocent kids yeah. who will suffer mm. the consequences of wrong decisions yeah. what would you what do you think is helen's biggest fault in this yeah I don't want to fault her but uh, yeah. but uh, just looking at the whole situation I I do think that um there was a nonchalant way that she uh, she approached the situation where she didn't um think maybe she didn't think deeper about about the how this is going to affect yeah. the children mm. One of the things that I I am I am willing to bet is that the emotional connection between her and her children may not be as deep because she herself she never connected with anyone. 
and so when when now she is with uh, and I don't know her history I don't know what other kind of abuse mm. she has gone through mm. and of course now we do not know completely the extent of the abuse she endured with her husband. Mm -hmm. When you go through abuse, whether you are a child or an adult, you go into what we call survival mode. And in survival mode, you create walls to protect yourself. Yes. So what is going to happen, you will go into numbness, so you don't feel. And I, and I could, uh, so, so somebody like Helen, because of the things that she has gone through, when I don't know whether we can trust George's a statement yeah. that uh, that the bigger child was not connected to the mother yes. he would have preferred to stay with okay. with the uncle yeah. so kuna my first born najua apendi mama yake huyo kijana apendi mama yake kabisa kwa nini mama yake anakuwa too rough na yeye i'm too to like mm. So um toteka amenda ameguamia huko kwa my brother. I don't know you know how true that is but if it was true I am not surprised because uh, from from what from that history you will be able to see this lady she learned how to self protect. And self protection means that I don't allow myself to feel because I don't feel, if I start feeling I can't protect myself. So I go into that space of self-protection, self-preservation, and so I don't allow myself to feel anything. Now, the, the, so, so, so the, the thing that I would have wanted to see Helen do is, is to seek for help. She, can, she could have sought for help um, to see whether she can be able to, to talk to her kids and, and actually let the children not feel yeah. they are being abandoned and maybe there would have been an, a middle of the way yeah. uh, uh, a way that uh, she could because she has a very young child yes. three years old very young yeah, yeah. so so I, I and and again i'm looking at her situation and saying uh, there are options there are other options other than just walking away from your children mm. and not because she wanted to leave the marriage yes I don't think she wanted to, to leave, leave the, the children. children. However, at the same time, she is looking at economics. Yes. If Where I go with the children, them? how will I take care of them? What will I feed them? Yeah, what will I feed them? And then number three, you are also thinking, George would not probably have let her leave with the children. Yes. Because then, then she, he would have the children would have been the pawn. So the odds are stuck again. Yes. Her. Yeah. So, so I, I not knowing her her history very well, yeah. I can deduce that probably she felt this was the best option for her. Like she was saying, yeah. I am going to get a job, look for money, for money, and, and then back. come back for the children. Yeah. And, and and now our laws you can imagine now if she comes back and George decides he's not going to let her see the children mm. so you can see now the the law would have to decide did she abandon the children yes. did she intend to do that yes. does she have any rights and what are those rights mm. like mm -hmm. so so it's a, it's a it's quite a complicated situation yeah yeah what happens now to the children yeah i know so you know the children will go through the same thing mm. that George said he went mm. through. Staki watoto wakue jinsi maisha mini tulikuwa. My brother ndi ametulea. Na mimi siyezi taka my brother. Nilea wat, my brother amenilea, amenisomesha. Tena anilelea watoto wangu, anisomesha watoto wangu. I make sense kwa wangu. Now if George had uh, sought help emotional and psychological yeah. and mental yeah. mental counseling he would have known that the way to build a home and the the way to keep your wife at yes. home is not to beat her mm. because what he did he created he he presented himself as an unsafe spouse so the woman is not going to wait like she said i'm not going to wait yeah. and get killed mm. in the on the laws of of uh, of kenya I believe that uh, assault includes threatening. When you threaten that you are going to kill someone or you are going to harm them, mm -hmm. it is against the law to do that. And we know why. If, if you are going, and, and, and you know very well, like I get, I say, I get, again I said, when a man take, holds a woman's neck and you start squeezing it and you are under the influence of anger, you have no idea how that feels that's terror 
you feel because you are afraid to be able to uh, that you are going to die yes. i'm dying and i can't scream i can't fight because once i can't breathe then i am paralyzed i can't do anything when you release that woman and you have first of all you have told her i will kill you na watu wenyu hawatawahi kukupata i have had people who have been told i will cut you up and not even the police will ever find you and and then you go and actually do it do you know gesture you know like now you 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 strangle me mm. or you beat me up the way he was saying he beat her up yeah. vizuri yes kumnyorosha vizuri what you have just told that person they are not safe with you you are not a safe mm. place mm. so what is love Lean. what is love yes yes what is love imagine yeah love is this number one, kindness yeah number two, compassion what is compassion compassion is not sympathy compassion is where i feel sympathy for you and then i make your life better so if i if i come and i see that you have not paid rent mm-hmm. i feel sorry for you yeah. then i go into my pocket yes. and i give you rent for that month yeah. or i say let me find you a job to make sure that you are well cared yes. for that's compassion mm-hmm. number three, love is empathy that i can feel you when you are in pain i feel it i understand it i validate it when you feel joy i celebrate with you now think about it how many people are in marriages where there is competition you have gone you have gotten a a, nini, a promotion yes and the person that you are married to or you are in relationship with they come and says kwizi umeringa sana mm, kwa sababu ulipewa promotion yes. unajua yeah. wewe ringa tu siku ya mtu hata tunaonanga wale wanaenda that is not celebrating their life and yeah. then number four, you want a person love is respect that i look at you i don't understand you hata upengine umefanya kitu kingine mbaya but that human respect that you are a human being with emotions with thoughts you are intelligent and all that when i offer you that that's love you see love is also believing in you you see believing that you can do anything you put your mind into yes. believing that you can change in this way that i am willing to walk with you and i am willing to tell you i am going to put this boundary mm, here mm. because i know you can do better mm. that is belief mm. Th- believing in somebody doesn't mean that you hit me and i just say mm. najua ulikuwa tu umekas no 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 i am going to say absolutely not this is the boundary the next time you hit me it is there is going to be a consequence exactly. and i that is integrity now i am dealing with you from a space of adult I'm not either going in and saying oh in, in, I know you are angry no 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 I'm not pacifying you neither am I fighting you yes. so I'm going into that space of being an adult and saying lean that is not you you are better than that yeah. and because I know you can do better there will be a consequence that's why when you don't study for your exam you fail you fail that's the because consequence because they know that you can do better yes. when you keep on a mwa Kenya they t- take you out and they tell you for yeah. a year yeah. you go think about what you have done because yeah. we know you can do better than this yeah. you see yeah. so these punishments or uh, or what we call boundaries that we set in relationships they are supposed to they are supposed to encourage people to change and we all need to understand that because now when my wife walks away on me I should be sitting there and saying seriously yeah. I must have done something wrong. Yeah. That man would have been on that set. Being remorseful, not bragging. Being remorseful that really this was something that I did that wasn't right. That wasn't But we right. do understand as as a, as a mental health counselors we do understand where his mind is coming from. Yes. And again I go back to those four things I said when you don't have a sense of safety growing up when you do not have a sense of control yes. growing up when you do not have a sense that i am competent growing up and when you do not feel that you are loved and acceptable and that you can give love when you miss those four things during your first 10 years of life yeah. then the rest of your life you're just reacting yeah. reacting 
yeah. reacting and then you are not able mm -hmm. to grow outside of your raw humanness yes. which is i want this i go for it i don't care what somebody else feels what somebody else feels. Uli, Uli, Uli is money uh, sex. sex and uh, comfort and comfort yeah. Uh, enough in a relationship absolutely not because we that is not why we connect we connect because i want somebody who is a soulmate somebody who feels with me and yeah. who accepts me and embraces yes. who i am yes. romantic love if it does not grow into unconditional love mm -hmm. it is it is just that because we are always either on the high or the low yeah. we don't come into this space where we say mm. um you remember there is a story about abigail mm -hmm. in the old testament mm -hmm. when when he her husband acted like a fool yes she said me to me i usually say she said this is my fool yeah. forgive him mm -hmm. <laughs> you know and so if we can get to the point where we accept each other yes. with our strengths and our weaknesses mm -hmm. but instead of focusing on the weaknesses we build on yes. their strength yes. and we allow ourselves to be influenced by each other we will have very successful relationships successful yeah thank you so much grace mm -hmm. for even accepting to come on the show yes. and as i said if you accept my request yes. i would love to bring you back for more conversations mm -hmm. uh, before we conclude yes. what would be your parting shot to our right. audience right mm -hmm. now this is my parting shot to our audience yeah. we are too quick to label people so we we obviously we have labeled uh george yes. is a narcissist yeah. a wife beater yes. selfish man control freak and all that yeah. and he is acting that way uh, but i also want us to understand that a lot of people in our community are suffering from mental health issues that they had no control over growing up and now as adults they are trying to live their lives the best way they can yes. and so let us have compassion and let us uh learn that uh that that uh that some of these labels we give people yeah. they can be changed if people are given the opportunity to understand yeah. that uh, i'm not i'm not just this way there is something that happened to me that actually brought me into this space where yes. i am now the the other thing that i want to say uh, to young ladies mm. i want to encourage young ladies before you tie yourself to a man in a marriage please get to know who you are understand what it means to be a woman so that when you enter into marriage mm -hmm. don't try to be like the man yes. and just allow your femininity to be to be full blown mm. so that you can influence that's what yes. women do look at uh, Esther yeah. in the old testament mm -hmm. she influenced yeah. the king yeah. when you look at people like uh, like Abigail it's the same thing she influenced David and after her husband died she became David's wife yes. and and uh, so wisdom for us women we need to get that we don't have to fight for for control we don't need that you can control what's going on in your home by just being a wise woman and i'm not talking about the proverbs 31 woman yes. <laughs> that yes. one we can discuss that another time yeah. about what i think about the proverbs mm. that one woman but mm. but we want to encourage women that we don't spend too many too yeah. much of our time mm -hmm. trying to find a relationship with a man that you do not find a relationship with who you are and connect and now uh, uh, one more thing that i want to say for women yeah. is that uh, if we are not careful women can be very competitive with other women and you see you cannot be fully woman until you connect deeply with other women yes you see now so so that now we feel, we hate the gender but we don't know we do <laughs> and so we we tend to just uh, uh romanticize mm. the the relationship we mm. have with men mm. and we need to understand that if you want to be successful in your marriage be a woman who knows herself and who stands for what is right and even in that relationship in the very beginning of a relationship you see the red flags you need to put your foot down put your foot and down and you need to be consistent with mm. the with the boundaries yes. and please do not second guess yourself on something that you know very well is not right
It's not right. Yeah. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I know people will want to reach out to you. Yes. Because I think you've really helped a lot of uh, people, mm -hmm. especially those in such relationships. Yeah. So if someone wants to reach out to you or even get hold of you, yeah. where can they do that? Right. They can do that. I have a website. Yes. www.gracekariuki.co.ke yeah. Okay. When you go to my website, you will find all my other handles, Facebook, IG, Twitter, yeah. and also my WhatsApp yeah. number. Okay. And I will be so glad to help anybody who reaches out to me. I get a lot of a lot of people reaching out to me yeah. through WhatsApp yeah. and we chat and I give um, whatever um, direction that I can, I okay. can do. Yeah. So on your website they yes. can even be able to find your WhatsApp contacts yes. right there. Yes. Yes. Okay, really looking forward to mm -hmm. hosting you again yes. and I know all is not lost yeah. for George and Helen. But it's absolutely. not like this is such a big deal that mm. they need to crucify themselves yes. if they take the necessary actions yes. and they really want to get help mm. then i know they can salvage even yeah. if it's not the relationship they can build a conducive environment for, yeah, their, for kids their kids to kids, grow yes. to grow in and you my people thank you so much for always watching and uh, supporting our work and i'm looking forward to bringing you such conversations because at the end of the day we also want to provide solutions on the show so how about you tell me what kind of conversation types of conversation you want me to address and I'll get people like Grace who are professionals and they can help us with this kind of conversations. Remember you can also share your story with me. My email is right there pinned on the comment section below. We will attach uh, the address where you can we will link a uh, uh, grace your website mm -hmm. we will link uh, the link on the comment section below so that you guys can also go and find out what kind of services does she offer my name is lynn gogi thank you so much for watching till next time